My third pair of Palo Scafora is this beautiful pair of Adelaides that have this gorgeous Norwegian welt on it. It's actually a Norvegian stitch. It's not a welt, apologies. And um, this really great tan patina. And um, I'm a fan of this patina. I actually have another pair of shoes in it that I did another video on. But I, I really want to focus in on, on these shoes. The leather quality, the, uh, the color, the, the fit, um, and some of the extras that, that are part of it and how they wear. Um, that's the purpose of today's review. So as, as we think about it, let's talk about this leather quality. Now, the, the leather quality on Polish Scafor is always very, very good. It, um, it feels really soft when you wear them. Um, they were a little stiff at first and they broke in nicely. Um, the heels, candidly, are a little stiff still. Although I wouldn't say that they're like elastic. They seem to be leather heels. They just seem to be um, a little bit tighter than some. So, um, you know, it is something that as you wear them, probably for the first half a dozen times or so, you probably need to protect your ankles. But um, uh, it is it is very, very good. Um, the, uh, the fit on the toes is good. I actually sized down for this pair on the recommendation from Costas at the Noble Shoe, and I'm glad I did. Um, I did... Um, not need to do um, uh, you know, a toe pad on them in order to get them to fit right. Uh, they feel really good. On my um, suede Oxfords, I do have a toe pad uh, or a tongue pad to, to, make, them, to make them fit well. Now, um, as, as you look at these, um, the actual shoe itself is just a very, very simple, straightforward design. Uh, it's just an Oxford, has the Adelaide uh, piece with the, the heel cap, the U throughout, and the cap toe. Has uh, the typical broguing on it, which is nice. As I said before, it's a 270 degree Norvegies, um, and this is extremely clean. Very, very nicely done. So there's basically one stitch going into the shoe, and then one stitch going into the midsole, which is then um, attached to the, to the sole. Um, in typical Palo Scafora fashion, it has a wide waist. Um, it is uh, it does have some hand beveling on the waist. And, and Palo Scafores are made by hand, right? They, they don't use a lot of machinery, um, although they press this uh, into the sole with the machine, obviously. Um, and uh, blind stitch on the soles. Um, very elegantly painted, but not bad. Uh, you can see my foot... Um, kind of wears in even where it's uh, on the edge there. Uh, toe plates are done with nails, uh, but as I suspected during the unboxing, uh, they're, they're perfectly fine after a few wears. Um, heels done very nice. The heel uh, construction, you can see that they're thin heels and um, uh, they look thicker on the outside, but uh, when you look on the inside there, they, they are thin. Uh, very nicely done. It is asymmetrical, although not very asymmetrical in construction. Um, but overall, I would say the quality is commensurate with other shoes in the $1,400 price point. There's not a lot of brands that are there, but I, you know, overall, I would say it's very, very good and very happy with the way they turned out. Now, Paulo Scafora as a brand is um, relatively new on the scene. He's been around for quite a while, but always doing um, things under other brands. And i um, very happy with the way these are. And um, they're very consistent in the, excuse me, in the quality that you would see from other Palo Scaforas. So very happy with them. Um, in terms of uh, the, the fit um, and, and how they wear, um, the, as I said before, um, it's, it's very, very good for my feet. The, uh, the instep is not too, um, too much, which, which is big for me. And I don't have too much here. You can see from the creasing that I have a little bit of room here, but it's not bad. And the creasing is is great, right? I mean, this leather is uh, creasing in a very good micro way. Um, some of the others crease a little bit more, but these are these are really good. And um, very happy with them. In terms of wear, as you can see from the sole before, I don't have a ton of wear on these yet. I've worn them maybe um, half a dozen times and uh, need to put quite a bit more on them. Now that I'm starting to travel again, that will change. Um, and uh, 
we'll uh, we'll get more on them in the future. But for now, um, as I said, the heels are are quite stiff, and that's uh, requiring a little bit of break in, and uh, the rest of it is. Uh, exactly as I'd expect. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, just a short review today on these. I will circle back after I've had them on the hoof for about a dozen or more times. So thanks again for watching. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy and I'm out.